Greetings Commander, loading tutorial program by Commander So Economy. This video contains instructions on how to use Slopey's best profit calculator and CBEX Elite OCR. Follow these and you will be an asset to the trading community. As a starting note, running your game in 1080p is highly recommended for Elite OCR. Any other resolution can be problematic, likely causing malformed data to be produced. Let's begin the process of getting you up and running. The first step is to install both Best Profit Calculator and Elite OCR. I have included the links on where to download them in the video description. Please be sure to thank them for their hard work. Install and start the programs, but make sure Elite Dangerous is not running yet. You may now pause the video until you have done so. So now you have both of the programs installed and started up. Slopey's best profit calculator might have requested permission to alter your log file. This will cause Elite Dangerous to include your current location to the log, and this allows the program to automatically figure out where you currently are. If it has not requested permission, it means it could not detect your game folder. This means you have to modify the app config.xml file by hand. You must do so by opening the folder where your game is installed, and following the path shown in the video. The name of the folder inside your products folder may be slightly different, but yours should be roughly the same if not identical. Find and open the app config.xml file in a text editor. You may now pause the video until you have done so. You are now looking at your app config.xml file. Locate the network tag and add, verbose logging equals 1, as highlighted in the video. Do not alter anything else, and save the file. You may now pause the video until you have done so. First I shall explain Slopey's best profit calculator. Click on the options and skins tab at the top of the screen and then click options menu. Make sure the path to the Elite Dangerous Logs folder is set correctly. The Logs folder should be in the same folder as the app config.xml file. The Clear DB button allows you to flush your local data, in case something went wrong. The Donate button will help motivate Commander Slopey in keeping up his great effort. You may set everything else to your own liking, and then press OK. The program should now be ready for use. Launch your Elite Dangerous game, and restart the Best Profit Calculator. It is recommended to set Elite Dangerous to run in borderless mode, so you can more easily access the trading tools once you are in-game. You may now pause the video until you have done so. The Best Profit Calculator has probably announced it detected your current location. This means you have set up your log file correctly. Well done. You may now start looking for a good trade by pulling up the BPC window. If it has not, please replay this video and make sure you followed all the steps. Click the Force Data Download button at the top to make sure you have an updated list. This may take some time the first time, but should be quicker after that. You can see the update progress in the lower right corner. You may now pause the video until the program has finished updating. The program now has an extensive list of data. It has already filled out the system you are in, but you need to select your current station yourself. Also fill out the amount of credits you have, so it knows what you can spend and fill out the amount of cargo space you have, so it knows how much you can haul. Tick the within distance box and fill out a distance in light years if you wish to limit your travel. Click the search button and it will start populating the list. This may take some time to finish, but you may click stop if you are pleased with the result. You can drag a column header up to the bar above it, to group by that variable. You can click a column header to sort the list by that variable. You can hover over the column header to click the filter icon for more precise filtering. To remove filtering, click the X at the bottom of the list. Right-click a column header to remove it from the list. To get it back, 
Right-click a column header, choose column chooser, and drag the one you want up to the column row. You may narrow your search by using the various limiters at the top, then hit search to apply. Round trip will plan a trade that ends back at the station you started. Next to the Best Profit Calculator tab, there is also a System Data tab. This tab shows you all the available systems in your database, and all the commodities available therein. The third tab at the top, is the Commodity Data tab. You can use this if you are looking for a specific commodity, or need to unload something. The last tab is the Flight Log tab. This shows you your travel, the stations you personally visited most and the 20 globally most popular systems. To force a data download and refresh your local database, click the Force Data Download button at the top of the screen. To export your data in a comma-separated value list, click the Export button next to it. To chat with other BPC users, click the Chat Room button. To add or update the commodity, click the Add or Update Prices button, or the Grid Update button. You may choose an update method of preference, but only the first one will allow you to add new systems or stations or commodities. At the bottom of the update dialog is a load from CSV button, this is how you will feed Elitosia data. I will explain more about this once we have set up Elitosia. We shall do so, now. Click the Settings button at the top of Elito CR, and select Preferences. Make sure that, like in BPC, your logs folder is entered correctly. Make sure you tick the Remove Duplicates option as well as the Save Images option, but do not tick the Automatic Adding option yet, or I will freaking cut you. Press OK. Elito CR is now also ready to be used. I shall now demonstrate how to start feeding data into BPC using Elito CR. Pull up your Elite Dangerous game and enter the commodities market. Make sure nothing is selected by hovering over the right side of your screen, press F10 to take screenshots, and scroll down. Repeat until you have captured all commodities. It does not matter if some screenshots are overlapping, the program will sort it out automatically. You may now pause the video until you have taken the screenshots. Now that you have the screenshots, pull up Elite OCR. Click the green plus button at the top left to add the screenshots. Elite OCR will now display a black and white version of one of the screenshots. Press OCR all, at the top of the window, to begin processing the data. The program will now work down the list displaying what it captured and what it thinks it read. First, make sure the station name is correct. It should pick up the system automatically just like BPC. Now look at the commodity displayed at the top, and verify if the data is correct. Alter the numbers if needed, or click the skip button if it is complete rubbish. Once you have verified the numbers are correct, click the add in next button. If the commodity is already on your list, then skip it. It will disregard duplicates anyway. Once it is done, click the export button at the bottom and save the CSV file. You may now pause the video until you have done so. Once you collected the data, pull up the BPC window and click the add and update prices button. Select the station you are trying to update. Then click the Load from CSV button and select the file you just made. If all goes well, you now have a list of commodities. If so, click the Save Data button and wait a few seconds. In order to reflect the new data, hit the Force Data Download button at the top, or wait for it to update automatically. You have now successfully contributed to the community. Thank you Commander. To do it again, empty your screenshots folder first.